fall off. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying with the goddamn hair your league. So, I want to react to this video. Um, we're getting into viral videos. I keep telling y'all that, but y'all will see. Um, the title of this video, matter of fact, I'll say it in a minute. I'm going to let y'all know what happened in this video so you'll know what's going on. So, just normalize the first two to three minutes. I will not be starting the video. But basically, this hairstylist was doing this girl's hair. And she went live on Facebook, right? So she doing the girl hair, went live on Facebook. And then was telling the girl that, you know, she was uh, on something. You know, and telling her that um, something was wrong with her, basically. So that made the girl absolutely uncomfortable. She claimed that. She was going to finish her hair. But if I was that girl, I would have been jumped out the chair. You know what I'm saying? But I want y'all to give me y'all opinion on it. But uh, trigger warning, you know, if this is something that you cannot watch or you cannot take, don't watch it. You know what I'm saying? We just go to the next video, friend. But as far as I'm concerned, this was a hot mess. I don't like the whole, um, I don't do random people in my hair. Um, when I find a good person to... Do my dreads, I stick with her. When I find a good person to give me a shape up, I stick with him. I don't I don't necessarily play around with my head. Because you're not about to play with my top. You get what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Like, you're not going to play with my top. You know, so I feel as though this was one of them situations where she was playing with this girl top. You know what I'm saying? But y'all be the judge of this. And let's get it. What's up, everybody? Now, let's sip this tea. All right, y'all. So, I'm bringing you guys another viral Facebook story. Well, it's going viral. The hairstylist was not on something. The girl that, her, the girl hair she was doing allegedly was. Viral as we speak. Now, this um, Flint, Michigan hairstylist who goes by the name on Facebook of Honey Rose is being dragged up and down Facebook for allegedly recording her client high and i mean extremely high from what she says just read this caption to the video that has now gone viral in this caption of her live video that she streamed to all of her customers she said i'm doing this girl hair and she high as fuck off pills i hit her girlfriend up to let her know and she tell her to cover her phone and kept texting her and wouldn't respond then asked, did she want her to bring her another Zan? So the girlfriend's sitting outside, and I'm going live just in case. I got to put this girl out. She already lying to her girlfriend, saying they causing a scene and I'm being rude and threatening to kill herself. I'm finishing her hair because she already paid, and I don't do bad business. You don't do bad business, but you put a... Girl, give her her money back. Don't do bad business, my ass. She could have gave her her money back. This is the start of a lot. Let my ride know what time Make sure girlfriend already sitting outside. Right now? Mm hmm So she left or? What you mean? I don't mean nothing. I know your girlfriend was just sitting outside and I was just went upstairs blue top. I bet it's a window. And she just asked you, does she want her to bring you another thing? Um, I keep telling you I'm not stupid. You can't run a game on me. I'm not. I didn't ask you. Okay, you listen. Know what I'm listen. She just told you that the stores around here wouldn't sell her wood because of the 21 thing. Mm -hmm. Then you said whatever you said. Do y'all know that she knows about this because she was in her phone? I mean, that got to be like cold, like, like. Hairstylist code 101. Don't look in the client's phone. 
Then she said, do you need another van? You said, yeah. She asked you, did she want you to bring it in? I just want to let you know that if y'all bring any more pills into my house, yes, you're getting put out without your hair getting finished. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just want to get that understood. I'm sorry. I, I brought that disrespect into your house. My bad. Like, I'm not How is that disrespectful? I mean, I don't know. She's this the the hairstylist is alleging that the girl was acting crazy at first, but during the whole video or the whole live, she wasn't. Mind you, I don't think she knew she was live. So like, stop doing her hair. Put up with that shit at all. This shit taking me way too long. I gotta get up at eight o'clock in the morning and do more hair. And then you lying to your girlfriend, telling her I'm being rude to you, talking about they causing a scene on you. Who the fuck is they? Because I'm the only one talking to you. My You're brother been asleep, so you can't say he's saying anything to you. I can't say anything about your brother, man. I'm, okay, just turn around so I can finish, or I'm going to put you out. I'm, I'm letting you know that right now. What am I doing to no, you? Nothing. Just be quiet, sweetheart. I'm, I'm telling you, just be quiet and let me finish. Because I'm already frustrated and irritated. Girl, I would have left. You ain't got the bitch. And I really would like to finish up. <laughs> I, I would have left. So like I told you, I don't do no bad business. I wouldn't even nobody. trust the her. In my head. You came here to get a service, so I'm going to complete your service. In my head. And then you will never be able to book an appointment. And then she just keep ever. talking. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the girl leave it like, I understand. Cool, I get it. She's showing off for her life. The rest of my kids was in here, man. This I'll be going a whole different way right now. And she on. Do you want me to leave? I need to rush your money back, and I can leave if I make you feel uncomfortable. You don't make me feel uncomfortable at all. Nobody makes me feel threatened in my own home. I'm fully protected. I'm fully blessed. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna get that understood to you. You don't scare me at all. I don't feel uncomfortable. I, I don't feel crazy. You just said you would leave if I if I'm making you feel uncomfortable. You don't make me feel uncomfortable at all. This is my home. What I'm telling you is, you're high as fuck, and your girlfriend. I I hit her up and told her to bring you a Gatorade because you were sweating and you barely made it upstairs to my bathroom. Staggering. Nobody is staggering. You keep saying all you smoked was weed. But I watched you text her, told, you told her you used, she asked you did you want another thing after I just told her you was high as hell. And then instead of texting me back and responding to me for your well-being, she texted you and told you to cover your phone. I read everything. You so you can't sit here and lie to me. What I'm you telling you. You give me your money back. You don't have to finish Listen, my hair, ma'am. I'm going to finish your hair because you paid for a service, Okay. I just want you to chill. She's high. I, uh, granted, she is high because she's saying, do you want me to give you your money back? She's basically trying to say, give me my money back. But the thing is, like, I don't even need your money. I'm out this chair. You know what I'm saying? I would have got up at that chair, dog. Be quiet and let me do my job. And we I am being quiet. But you're not about to keep disrespecting me. Like, shut up. And like, if you don't, you know what I'm saying? If you don't, if you don't want to do this, like, lady, move. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't understand. We can get this over and done with as quick as possible. And I promise you, you're going to enjoy your hair. If anybody need to shut up, it's her. Child have been so uncomfortable, but she was high. You know, she probably, she was probably like, whatever. <laughs> Girl, if I was drunk, it would have been real bad. But I only did one hairstylist, one, one barber. I even offered for you to come sleep, go sleep. Why are you still time? talking, Never lady? Time. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Like she trying not to be rude, also, cause she in her damn head. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, you doing the fucking most, and mad as hell too.
Bitch, I'm live. Why you doing my hair? Like, girl. I mean, you done violated all types of codes here. <laughs> Okay, but nah, I would have, I would have left. <clears throat> you ain't even gonna play with me like that. Some situations don't even be worth the money back, y'all. Anyway, I just want to make sure she here by the time Okay, she was already outside, so you don't have to make sure she was here by the time She left. She left. I didn't hear her pull off. I heard her pull off the first time when she went to go um get woods, y'all. Her not uh. Low at all, so I can hear it. I hear everything outside my house. I wouldn't even want to talk to her. She talked too much. You ain't even gotta ask me to leave, bitch. Would have been gone. Where you at? That girl was ready to go too. No, this is not her mama. That's the problem. She was ready to go. She was uncomfortable. Get her on the lying part, cause I, why are you lying? But for real, get out my phone. No. <laughs> like, bye, 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 bye. You gotta go. You said she said you told her to give me a thing. That is what you I said. I never said. I never talked to your girlfriend about giving you no thing. You lying. I'm not lying. I'm just confused. Because you lying. Listen. No, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. I'm not even gonna deal with it no more. Yes, ma'am. If you would like to come back tomorrow once you sober up, I will finish your hair. Absolutely. You not. You not. Okay. You not sober. And that's not okay. You don't come to nobody's house like that. Yes, ma'am. I thought I was gonna have two. Yeah, we smoke some weed. I don't pop pills and do all. Mind you, she was supposed to smoke a smoke a L with her. What other shit you got going on, baby girl? I don't do that. And you brought that. What if all the rest of my kids, I had seven kids here today. What if all the rest of my kids was here? Then it really would have been a problem. And I'm trying to speak very carefully so you don't think I'm threatening you. I don't think you're threatening me at all. I understand 100%. You obviously don't. I do. You don't. I'm trying to understand. You're 19 years old, baby girl. You got to do better. If you need help, whatever, uh, rehab, whatever, I will help you. I promise you I will. But you got to do better because that's that shit not cute. And then your girlfriend ain't able on you, asking you, do you want more Zans after I just told you how you took and to bring you a Gatorade? Like, I'm trying to tell you that you don't know. So, if that, I, uh, I, I don't know what's going on here, like, but I do know that you're on pills. No, she I not slow. On. She on a Zan. She's absolutely on one. Now, I don't know why her girlfriend would ask her do she want another one, but she sounds as if she's on something. But my thing was, that ain't bothering you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, ah, this is a lot. I'm talking about it. I do know that your height is high as fuck. 
And you you know she high. You know she high. You know she high because you text her and said you was just high as fuck when y'all was talking. And then you told her to cover her phone. Then after you after no 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 no. Cover her shoulder. That's why I said cover your phone. Yeah. Instead of coming to check on her, you told her to cover her phone. No, I no. You was reading her text messages. That was correct. Number is not stored. I read enough to know who you were to text. The point you wasn't supposed to be reading the text messages, friend. Text you because I was concerned about her. She's she's fine. She's not fine, and you know she's not fine. She's not fine. You you asked her did she want another Zan? You even told her she was tripping. She said she was finna kill herself because she was embarrassed. Like, come on now, you can't play me. I'm not trying to. Listen, listen, baby girl. Okay, yo, baby. So she's high too. This one, but she shouldn't have been reading her shit in general. Now, granted, it is 2022. And this this hairstyle has got to be safe. You know what I'm saying? So ultimately, the, the girl could have been texting anything. She could have been telling some people to pull up and rob her and shit. You know what I'm saying? So the problem is, I even get why she was reading her shit. You just, you really don't know. However, the Xanax ain't got nothing to do with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Her girlfriend pulling out, pulling in, ain't got nothing to do with you. If ain't nobody trying to hurt you... Then what was the problem with her having a little little high or whatever? Get her hair finished tomorrow. I'm willing to finish it. I said that. Once I finish it, then she can pay me the rest of my money. But that will be tomorrow. I have neighbors, so now you have to leave. And that's just that. What time? What time will you be here tomorrow? I will let y'all know because I have two clients ahead of her that I have to get taken care of first because I'm pretty sure they're not gonna come to my house high off pills. Like, come on. And then she just got to be shady with it. You know what I'm saying? You don't know why that girl took a damn Xanax. I seen the messages, boo. You can't sit here and tell me she not high. And then for y'all to pop up, pop back up at my house. Like, y'all popped up back at my house. So popped up back at your house because they done paid you for a service and you ain't finished her fucking hair, lady. <sighs> about can she get her hair finished tonight she not hot no more like the fuck no the fuck out of here with that shit like what the fuck is wrong with people and these is kids bro these is kids they not even old enough to buy a rello like this and mind you nobody's on her side in the comments nobody is on her side shit crazy like you're on your own, home. you're on your own um platform, and nobody's on your side. Cause she dead ass wrong. You smoking weed, she popping pills. Drugs are drugs. You sound and look so hypocritical. Facts. This shit don't make no fucking sense. Like I opened the door to talk to you. So you wouldn't think I was just on no bullshit Ooh, girl, that's because I'm not. I, I really do want to finish the girl hair. I really do want to finish this girl hair, but y'all got to get that. Her life could easily be took. Y'all sound dumb as fuck. She just going live to save herself. Not saving herself from a girl who was who took a pill on her own on her own time and was getting her hair done sitting quietly in the fucking jail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And saying yes, ma'am. Like that shit together. That right. And they kids, but you smoking with them, girl. This I a mess. Like I just had seven kids here, y'all. Luckily, my nephew had fucking sleep. But if I still would have had all them kids, this whole situation would have went a different way. Because not only are you disrespecting me, my house, you disrespecting where my motherfucking kids come and. You what does that have to do with anything? Yes, I only have one child, but when I say kids, everybody kids is my kid. So this is I'm, what? <laughs> Text message proof that the hairstylist did contact the girl's girlfriend. Um, she first maybe you should bring her a Gatorade or something. She definitely has F. If I had one, I'd give it to her. She stumbled to go pee and she slurred. She asked me three times. Working five minutes, how much longer? And I damn near got to yell for her to hear what I'm saying. Kind of concerned. Should I let her sleep it off and finish tomorrow? 
I don't want to start nothing or anything. Just was a little concerned. First contacted her on Facebook and she didn't reply. So she found out the girlfriend's phone number, which she also got out of her client's phone. She screenshot Damn. her messages and she sent them to the girl. I got your number looking over her shoulder. I'm doing my best to finish. At this point, you can just come get her and have her pay me my money. You see my text, I'm not finna deal with this. Girlfriend, she said, I know you saw my messages. I got your phone number now. Mm -hmm. Her client, um, all the girlfriend did was tell. I'm gonna say this one time and one time only. Y'all don't know what the F that girl put me through before I start going live. I had been doing her hair since 8.30 and she was getting crazier and crazier. I dealt with that shit just so I could try and finish her, her, her hair, I guess. I told her several times to go home and sober up and i will finish her hair tomorrow how the f y'all gonna tell me i'm doing too much of my house after what i put up with and now one of y'all now one of you weird ass bitches gonna touch me i got anxiety and was previously prescribed zans y'all hurt people hurt people don't it so i know how that shot i guess i know how that shit goes she was off note than just zans y'all trying to make excuses and don't know what the F y'all talking about? My address. Not put your address. You're stupid. So you got a kid and you putting your address? Oh, girl. These are some goofy ass people, boy. For any bitch thinking they can beat my ass, fall through. I'm up now. Because ain't nobody finna disrespect me at all. I'm way too fucking nice and been over backwards. For every effing client, that shit in my chair. How can I take somebody money if she cash at me? Y'all sound fucking stupid. I told her after I finished my scheduled clients, I would finish if she's sober. So now guess what? Fuck y'all and her. I'm not obligated to do shit. She was yelling, standing up and all kind of shit before I went live. I don't believe that. It's patient as fuck. I had been reaching out to the girlfriend since 11. Come on now, do the math. So five hours later, I finally went off. I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe that at all. Like, if that was the case, why she suddenly stopped doing that shit? And I don't even think she knew she was live unless she said, hey, I'm going live, so don't do anything stupid. Like, why wasn't the girl doing that when she was live? Her girlfriend ain't coming to your phone because your hairstyle is and then shaming her on live. So if you saw the live, um, the young girl Jasmine was like, um, we smoke together. Like, what's up? She said, yeah, we smoke together. We ain't pop no pills. That she said was... This that weird ass hairstylist really just says she didn't smoke no blunt with me. She smoked a blunt with me and I rolled two woods and smoked with her. You grown, grown line on a 19 year old because you know you wrong. She can keep my money though. Well, my ass bitch. Oh God. I would have let her keep it too because obviously she needed more. Woman has blocked her from everything. And because I tried to help, I'm wrong. Because I tried to make sure somebody. Not you on that crime. She come get her and make sure she was good. I'm wrong. It don't matter. Her business was not private. And as soon as she walked in my motherfucking house and sat in my chair high. She was high as fuck. She could barely fucking function. She could barely talk. The fuck? As long, if you're in my house, yes, I'm going to be fucking nosy for your well-being. If I don't think you're okay. If I'm concerned. The fuck? Y'all, this is one reason why I don't do house braids. Like, it's just, un it's just like this uncomfortable feeling. My hairstylist is in her house, been in her house, but they got it made like a shop. And I had these problems. I was referred. <laughs> but they, we friends now, you know what I'm saying? We don't have these, none of these issues. Ain't no going live. And never all that anything either. unprofessional like this. House. No lie. You don't want to talk, talk to you. You see my messages. What, what, when the girl, fuck. You ain't for three is. And the last petty. You don't even know if this woman has a prescription for this Xanax. Right. And the last petty thing was right before she kicked the girl out of her seat. She was reading her messages. And right. And was calling her. You know if this woman. First of all, bitch, I didn't smoke with her. Um, I let her smoke weed and weed is harmless. She was off something. And weed ain't harmless to some. Shit, be making me feel like I'm about to have a heart attack. Child, this a mess. Listen, y'all. Um, mm -mm. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, 
she was going through some shit and wanted to take it out on that girl. And obviously, you got anxiety or whatever whatever she says she got going on. And you got prescribed Xanaxes too. So why couldn't she be prescribed Xanax? You know what I'm saying? Like, what makes her so different from you? And why was that considered high or just like you act like she was on crack? You know what I'm saying? Like, if that was the case, you a crackhead too, friend. Because you was just subscribed the same thing. So I don't I don't understand that at all. And I child uh, bitch. <laughs> y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. That was a mess. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.